Hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's Wednesday morning here in the UK. Can you hear my voice and see the video, guys? Hello, Trang, welcome. Hello, Rohit again, Fatima, Maria. Rohit says, I'm craving to speak like a native. How can? Um, I've got a question here for you, Rohit. Why do you think that you need to speak like a native? Mohammed, good morning. Anil, good morning. Brave, hello. Welcome, everyone. To my Wednesday morning live stream about basic pronunciation as sound. Letter S is difficult, you know, in some cases. Many people around the world can't produce the sound accurately because of the impact of the mother tongue. Even some languages do not have this word, that sound. Hello, Nikki. Welcome. Hello, Haider. Welcome. Hello, Sunny. Welcome. Good morning. So, how are you all doing today, guys? And from which location are you watching? And thank you very much for joining me. Hello, Sufian. Welcome. Said, welcome. Good morning. Tanishka, good morning. Sufian says Pakistan. Sunny says Bangladesh. Said says India. Mohammed, India. Rohit, we all are great. What about you? I'm fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Hello, Brinda. Welcome. Gadiz says Indonesia. Fatima says I'm waiting my class before three minutes. Oh, best of luck with your class. Danishka says India. Rohit says I'm from Nepal. Fatima, you're from Saudi Arabia. Alan Sahalan. That's really cool. Sitika, good, good morning from Cambodia. Haider, is it our Professor Haider from Iraq starting in the University of Finland? And he says, I'm from Dubai. Nikki said, from the Philippines. Nikki, you know that before Philippines, we need to use the or the, the sound. Henry, oh. Welcome. Okay. Um, Fariel, welcome. Let me turn off my mobile phone. Brave, good morning from India. Uh, Parm Ashar, welcome. You're from California. Oh, what brought you here, Henry, then? Can I learn English with you, teacher? Uh, I try to teach English grammar. I, that's my specialty. 
spoken English and IELTS tips and techniques. These are my three specialties. And also on and off, I bring pronunciation tips and techniques like today I've got letter S. Okay. Henry, I'm from England, but I was not born here. I migrated here quite a long time ago. So once again, everyone to our interactive session about basic pronunciation. Letter S seven. Letter S could be difficult, you know, depending on the way we produce. So we'll go with the basic tips how you can be producing the sound correctly. If you know how to produce the sound correctly, that's fine. But I have heard from many people they can't find the difference between S sound and sh S sh sound and S sound. S has basically three main sound S, sh, and Z. And we're going to discuss when it can sound like simple S or a sh, which we call fricative or Z sound. All right. Uh, Rohi says, I want to learn spoken English and pronunciation. Thank you very much. Handy, yes, I'm a qualified teacher from the UK. I teach only through the online. But my main work is for the government service. I work for the National Health Service for the UK government. Hello, Suhani, welcome. I'm doing great. Any okay, welcome. So thank you very much, guys. We're going to start our lesson in a moment. So I'm sure that every day when we produce or when you, you know, try to pronounce a word that has got S at the beginning, we face difficulties more or less, almost all of us. And there is a reason why it happens because, as I said, possibly your mother tongue or mother language doesn't have the S sound or sh, the fricative sound or the Z sound. So before we start that, let us listen to this YouTube video. My job is to make mm -hmm. college easier because students have a lot on them. Like Harper, an econ major. Hey, YouTube. I'm Sean Ferguson from Life Skills Therapy, and today I want to talk to you about helping your child make a good, clear S sound. There are two main types of S lisps. The first is a frontal lisp that appears like this and can come across as thun, hit the water in the think, what did you say, I see that. The other is a lateral lisp. It sounds like this. And it's more like the water in the sink, the sun. What did you say? Let me see it. <coughs> the first thing to think about when helping your child correct their S sound is where is the S sound made? Generally, the S is made by raising the front of the tongue up behind the teeth. It's called an alveolar sound because it's in your alveolar ridge in your mouth. So you go, tongue is up, right? Here's the tongue goes up like that. Here's my little hand model. It looks like this. Tongue is up on the front. Now, also, the tongue can be produced with a tongue, which is equally fine. It's more like this. The sun. The sun. I'm not as good at it, but some people can produce it without making a slurpy or lispy S sound. Um, the sun. What did you say? What can you see? Um, so it just depends on, the, on people. Uh, a clear S sound, I believe, is made by bringing the tongue tip up, see that up here, whoops, there we go. What I do to help a child produce the S sound, first of all, is I show them teeth close and I just imitate the sound. That's generally my starting point with help produce any sound, is just holding out the sound and seeing if they can approximate it, which means getting clicked correctly or even produce it correctly, uh, which sometimes does happen. So then we'll just hold out that sound and we'll go on sun and they might go and I'll say, close your teeth. I want to see smile. And I'll say, let's smile. I'll even get out my, my speech pathology mirror here. I've got this one right here. So I'll let them see themselves in the mirror and they'll go, 
Done. Just like that. The mirror or a phone with the selfie mode on really helps a lot because the child can then see your face and they can compare it to their own face. Another helpful way to assist your child producing a clear S sound is what's called co-articulation. What that means is making another sound in the same part of the mouth. So like how we said before, the S is produced in the alveolar re region um, at the top part of your mouth behind your front teeth. Up here, the, the tongue curves more than my fingers can, but you get the idea. We can put an SN or an ST sound together. So words like snail, snail, snake, and then ST words like stick, um, fun words like stinky. Uh, I do work with some younger ones and bringing in humor always makes a big difference. Stinky. And they might say stinky. And I say stinky. What is that? Or they say snail. I say, what's a snail? You mean, oh, do you mean snail? And I rely on, a lot on, again, play and sort of pretending I don't understand what the child said and then correcting them and then asking for them to produce the same sound. Generally, if, if I pretend I don't understand and then I say the word, they want to repeat it because they want to say it right. Those are great ways to help kids. As I say, perfect practice makes perfect. We're not perfectionists here, but we do want to try to make the sounds as correctly as we can. Producing it a hundred times like this will not help, but producing it three or four times correct will make a big difference. So practice on those correct corrections, make a big deal, reinforce it with high fives, applause, the results will speak for themselves. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to hearing from you with any questions or comments. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, that's a basic video for the pronunciation. Welcome teacher Alexandra, Takis, Asher, Amina, Walaikum Salam, Fariel, and all the lovely people. Okay, so let's see about our today's lesson. Once again, guys, people who do not know me, this is Rahat Ali from England. I'm a part-time TEFL certified Hello course teacher and English teacher. I've been here on this app more than a year as a teacher, and my specialties are English grammar, spoken English, IELTS tips and techniques and also very often i come with the topic of common you know pronunciation basic pronunciation tips as well as common mistakes of english grammar and remember that english language is our second language we need to practice it correctly we need to develop our concept to very better levels if you would like to sound like a native if you'd like to sound like a native you need to understand the basic pronunciation, which is very much important. <clears throat> Two things also, connected speech and articulation. And what do you understand by connected speech? Connected speech is the techniques when one sound has impact on another sound. And articulation is the technique how the sound should be produced correctly, effectively, so that your listener can understand. Remember that. The more you practice, the more you'll be expert and you can build up your confidence. Okay, guys. So once again, Dako Abshir, welcome, Swati Kuma, and all the lovely people. It's my pleasure to see you at the moment. So let's crack on with our lesson. So letter C, I mean S, not C, has you know few sounds. You can see S, sometimes it can sound like C, like S, and SS, which is fricative, Sh, then J, and Z. We're going to talk about. All right, so correcting the pronunciation of your S and Z sound in English. When the letter is after an unvoiced or quite consonant, it is produced as S. So do you know what is unvoiced sound, guys? So in English letter, there are 26 letters. Some are voiced and some are unvoiced. We call voice sounds, those that produce from our vocal cord or throat. And we call unvoiced sounds, 
which are not produced from the vocal but rather produced from the mouth teeth tongue upper palm okay so you see this s should be sound like s if like uh, there is unvoiced sound or quite consonant the consonant which is not pro pronounced like hats tops works laughs what's this moths when the letter s is after a vowel and another s voice consonant it sounds like z so like logs tubes beds roofs look at that the s has got vowel sound before that like logs tubes beds moves clothes was becomes his passes okay now pronounce the es as as after the consonant s and z ch s h j j s as in bush okay first es is letter s should be sound like you know the sha sound it is called you like passes beaches washes packages noses the other thing to remember to pay attention when listening to native english speakers the audio tray or the audio trainer in my pro program and remember how they use it the third reason means you have to practice saying the two consonants together so you don't leave the s and z honestly this takes times because phonetics and pronunciation is the hardest part of english learning and which is why sometimes even you think that you're producing a sound accurately but in fact you are not if a listener can understand so how do you know you're producing the sound accurately or not if you have an audio phone or digital phone or a recording device record your sounds then you listen to it then you compare if you are after the must i must clarify here there are two types of accents one is the british ipa a british ipa that is the british english another is american ipa or the american english you know now if you'd like to compare and check for the british sound or in you know, a british english go to the oxford or cambridge dictionary and compare your sound okay and if you like to go after the american ipa or american accent then obviously you should go to the medium web star and compare it then you'll be able to understand so these are the two proven ways okay now let's see uh, <coughs> how we can unvoiced consonant again like it's cats lots bats rates experts apartments if there is ps sound and ks sound and fs sound ths then it should sound like s like stops backs let me uh, clarify it but voice consider it as sound z yeah mm -hmm. so this combination comes sometimes harder for people to pronounce so keep practicing and till get these uh, beds words cards fades foods in the meantime if you have any questions or comments guys you're welcome to ask me because phonetics is a very difficult part of english language once again so cups bags like this one tubes walls fields Mace, comes, homes, hams, once.
cars, fairs, lips, labs, knives, cows, nose, keys, toys, pace. Now let us make some words, guys. If you're still there, please participate. Words that starts with S A, then we'll produce the sound. Um, can you hear me, guys, and see the video? I don't see any response at all. Is my voice clear? Hello, Abdullah was the last person. I don't know what happened after that. I can't see any comment at all. Uh, let me have a look. What happened? Hello, sir. Welcome. It's clear. Okay. You can hear me. Great. So our first practice is let's make some word that starts with S A. And we'll pro uh, produce the sound like first one. Same. Save. Sale. sake saddle any other words guys do you know uh can you see the video guys it is called okay saint yes Fariel. Uh, Soraya, and look, the word should start with SA. Okay, remember that we need to understand the root SA. <coughs> Excuse me. So, same, safe, sale, sake, settle. Saint, you're right. I'm writing Fariel's word, saint. Any other word, guys? Save, that's right. Like save the children. Satisfaction, yeah, Yahoo, cool. Salute, yes, very good. Salute, satisfaction. Sample, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, Krishna has all the answers, right? Satisfactory, satisfy, satisfaction. These are all are from same root. Any other words, guys? Same. Do you know what the same mean? Guys, I'll be back in a moment, okay?
come back guys yes salvation great so right that's a good word uh krishna we have already used safe and sake so walaikum salam shibir so yeah so is the past tense of c and so is the cutting instrument sharpie like hacksaw it's a kind of blade any other words guys Hello Nikki, welcome. So one second everyone to my Wednesday morning live stream about basic pronunciation as sound. Our local time is 6.22 a.m. which is the UK time and you're watching this live stream from my home because I'm at, at the moment at my home. Salesperson, yes. That's great, salesperson. Etc. Okay, that's cool. Now let's make some words that start with SC. What are the words that start with SC, guys? Common words. First one is Scottish. But blimey, it's Scottish English. Scott. Name. Scatter. Then. What else, guys? Come on. You guys are amazing. The school. Yes, very common school. In Western countries, in a sometime big subjects or departments are also called school, like school of pharmacy, school of medicine, school of biochemistry, school of, um, what should I say, business. School of Economics. School Scholar. Yes, Nikki. That's great. Scab, scam. Very good. Let me write it. Scam. What is scab, guys? Oop. What is the meaning of a scab, Krishna? Scope, science, very good. Scope, science. Uh, let me find out the meaning of scab. Scab is a rough surface of dried blood that forms over a cut. Okay. Sand. We are talking about SC now, Soraya. Scar, scope, yeah, schedule. This word, schedule in British English, in Australian English. <coughs> But schedule in American English. Scholar has been written. Score. Yes. Let's write score. Schedule. Do you know scabbard? Scandal. Do you know scabbard, guys? What's scabies? Scared. Scandal. Yes. Uh, schedule has been written. Cool. Thank you. 
Uh oh, sorry, why am I writing? Wrong place. Scare. Scandal. Screen. Scene. Mm -hmm. Screw. Is it seen as C? S C E N E, yes. Scenario. Scale. Yes. Scar, scan. Mm hmm. Scar has been written, no? Scan, very good. So we can stop it now. There are hundreds of words. Well done everyone, uh, next one is SE. Let's start the words with SE. Yes, she will scan, Fariel scanner, screw, scissors, not Caesar. The Caesar must should have a S at the end, guys. Okay, Anu. Scream, scale, solitude, scrolling. Now let's start with S A. Second, yes, very good. C. Bravo, well done. These are common words. Then Second C, mm -hmm. skag. What does skag means, guys? Does anyone know? Skag. Oh, it's not showing there is any word, skag. Victor, we are selection. How Skag is coming in under the C? Selection. That's great. Seaman. That's cool. S sick. Maybe and Seaman as well. Sick. Second has been written, semi-finalist, several, very good. Scat, set, sediment, very good word, sealant, sediment, silt. Seal and silt. But basically, silt came from seal. Hi, Tutu, welcome. Are you free to join? Hello, Anu, welcome. Sela, segment, secret. Hello, Hi, welcome. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm doing fantastic today. Not phenomenal anymore? <laughs> yeah. So we had... How long have you been here? Uh, 35 minutes only. So I'll, I'll continue at least an hour more. So don't worry. If everything goes okay. So we are having the basic pronunciation of letter S sound and we're making some words. That's cool. There are many words with S. Eh? Well done, everyone. Now let's go to the word pattern SH. Now, uh, Tutu, tell us where are you from and then make some words with SH. I 
probably say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Before that, hang on, mom. Let me read out the, some comments. Cause I see great. Yep. It is it is segregated. Citrus I see. Sentiment. Semi final has been written. Pfizer search. Hello, Pragat. Welcome. Several has been written. Senior. Sub. Krishna seed select selfish. Yes. September. That's cool. Secret. Segregation. Separate. Seminary. Shake. Yes. Shelter. Okay. That's really cool. SH. Go on. Two, two. Shop. 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 Mm -hmm. Shaw Shaw S H A W L Shaw 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 Yeah Shows Shield Mm hmm This one teacher How about like More of a Shaw We What Shaw Shaw Yeah Shame. Shame. Then it means shy, right? It's the same shy. Um, both positive and negative meaning, but shy is mostly positive meaning. She share. That's good. Well, how about shy? Why is that with the SH? Yes, shy. Share. Shepherd, Sanor, Shade, She, Chef, Oops, Shatter, 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 in British English, Shatter, British English, Shatter, American pronunciation. Oh, Forest is here. I think I can say Forest is one of your Forest students, right? Forest is two. She here. Where? Oh yes, flourish. Yeah, let me bring her. Now I I can bring only through the laptop. I can't bring through the mobile anymore. I don't know the reason why. Oh. Shield, short shoes. Yes, very good. Share. Share. When they, when they do a lesson about culture, you can help anyone on. No, that's really bad because from the mobile they have <laughs> deactivated. It's I'm only through the laptop I can bring the people. Arch Archana said, Shepherd, that's cool. Sheep, share, short, shipping, shale. No, Victor, there is no such word, shale, I think. Shift, shot, sneer, shame, shine. We are talking about SH now. Yes, shopping. Uh, Flourish, are you free to join? I just invited her. Shelves, shutter, shelter. We, very often we say to each other, shut up. Yeah? <laughs> I'll join later. That's okay. Shop, shawl, shabby, shoot, shift. What is that? Shian gigas? I haven't heard this word before. Shine, shampoos. Shade, shampoo. shampoo. Okay, the difference between a uh, sa sound when we say like same, shame, our tongue touches the upper part of the mouth. Shame, shelter, shed, shake, shows, shield. That's a very uh, much distinctive sound because very often I say someone to pronounce same, they say shame. Okay, I said British, they said British. So remember British, shh, as and shh, practice this sound. It, it will help you overcoming this, yes. British, peckish, shines, yes, yeah, shape, shit, sheet. Sh All right, so short. Shannon Ginans mean dishonesty. Let me find out. S H E N. Okay. 
how to spell it to two shannon guinness s h i n no it's not coming through unfortunately i think some word you cannot look it up in the dictionary sometimes it's a new all i don't know s h i n spell it again s h i n a n uh -huh. Shannon Gainers. Okay, let me see. Okay, because it is an obsolete word. Do you know the meaning of obsolete word? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. It's, it means once upon a time it has used, they don't use it anymore. You're right, Cal. It means dishonesty, but it is an obsolete word. They don't use it anymore. So what happens basically, as you might be aware, English language is not... Uh, static it moves everywhere in oxford and cambridge dictionary they added two to three new thousand new words two to three thousand new words and they remove it so this word is one of the words that has been removed from the dictionary that's why you can't find it but if you go to the google search it then it says it is an obsolete or archive hello ash welcome good morning no we don't have to use all the words do you use all the words in a mother tongue no you don't similarly in english words we don't use lots of words now s has laid a wrong list okay this if you let's do make some more words quickly before we go to the tongue twisters at the amazing part today and some of the sounds so next word pattern is s i s s i Sing. Sin. Then sinister. Sister. What does it mean, sinister? Sure. Sinister. An adjective. Sinister means like sometimes some people feel that oh something's going to bad happen. This quality, if you ever has this quality, you can say that uh, I'm kind of sinister, you know, feeling that something bad is going to happen. It means we were read about something other than right? Something gonna happen. Sinister. Yes, making you feel that something bad or evil might be happening soon. Hello, Shaikh, welcome. Crush, welcome. Amar, welcome. Simple, yes. Ash. Why it is S sound, Ash? According to the English pronunciation, S sound is Sha sound. And S is S, S. So, so English. <laughs> language has some rules it goes with its rules okay very often i share many of these rules single sick singer simple that's right we are talking about si guys not se flourish si siganje Significance is significant is important. Significant. Adjective. A significance is the noun. Simmering. Significant. Significant. Yeah. Simile, right, Kel? Siblings, yeah. Sign, sit, simplified. Hello, and Henry, you're back. Femi, welcome. Sign again, seen, simple, very good. Next one is SL, silent, simplicity, similar. Very good, well done, everyone. Next word pattern is SL, 
What are the words with SL? First one is sleep. Oh, blind me. I feel like sleeping now. <gasps> oh, I'm yawned and tired. Have you watched the movie Sleeping Beauty? That's a famous movie from the Disney series. Slow, very good. Sip. Slick. Sleepers, slow again. Slightly, slack, very good. Sleeper, sluggish, yes, yeah, sleep. You're, com you know, uh, just you're recommending, uh, honestly, you're repeating the same sound, sleep. Slaughter, sleeping. Slazy, very good. Slang, slap, slope. SL, guys, sleep. It is sleeps, not sleep. White is plural, you know, two, two. Short sleeves. He short, shorts us two sleeves. Slope, yes. Slab. Slender, that's right. SL sound. Hi, think tanker. You said slab. Slender, did you say? Okay, let me find out. Slender has four slender, slender, or slender, or slendersly. Wow, it's noun, adjective, adverb, and pronoun. A false spoken statement about someone that damages their reputation or the making such a statement. So, the slander is the word related to the uh, legal court or justice. Okay, slander. So, when you give a false statement, okay. About someone else, like you can say, oh, teacher Rahad Ali is the very bad teacher. This is a slander. Because of your comment, it you know my reputation is gone. Okay, the court is suing Tutu because of the slander, for example, because you have made a false statement. Slamming. Hi, Shaikh. Welcome. We are making the word with SL. Slam. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Slow. Slowly. That's great. So, that's well done. Let's go to the word pattern SO. Soup. Soap. What is the difference? See, O and S O, O and is U. Soap. O a pattern is O like boat, coat, tote. Okay. But soup. Then someone kill him, someone kill him. This is one of the dialects of the Kung Fu Panda movies, yeah? <laughs> Kung Fu Panda 2. The peacock says, someone kill him, the, the panda. Slam. Song. Yes, very good song. Do you like to sing a song? Tutu. South. Sorry, another common word. Very good. South, sorry. Mm -hmm. Soap, society, soup, S double O P. What does soup mean? That's a new word for me. I don't soak soon, soot, soot. Let me see if there is a word soot or soup. No, nothing is coming through. So that might mean that might not be a correct word, Henry. Sophisticated, very good word. Vavia, welcome. Lady says sound, soothing, soul. Larry, yes, sophisticated. Soil, 
shooting no we are talking about so guys solution source yes <clears throat> sophisticated is very valuable prestigious classy you can say like some teachers are really sophisticated teacher that means some teacher very prestigious and classy it's a sophisticated idea to develop your english language by practicing a lot that means it is very important idea sodium mm -hmm. social solitude solemnity sodium yeah is um, is a metal of chemistry somebody yes flood is singing song single we are talking about aso something sun suns we have already used sorry soft so yes sovereignty that's good soil slow so is as well soaking yeah mm -hmm. hi robert vanta welcome soaking means when you are you know giving water to something to be wet soaked in the water solar yes soon sociability sober solicitor solemn social oh that's cool everyone is so amazing social media somnolence do you know somnambulist i was going to ask you does anyone know this word some It's a disease when people walk when they're sleeping. We call the person somnambulist. Somnambulism is the noun. Soldier, solvent. Okay, Sheikh, we're talking about ASO. Sonnet, yes. ASO, guys. Hello, Biswajit, welcome. Somnambulist, yes. Somnambulist is the person, it's a kind of disease. You can see that in many movies, people showed it. That some people are working when they're sleeping. It is called somnambulist. Yeah, walking while you're sleeping. <laughs> they work. Okay. What is SN? Is first one is snore. Snob. Do you know snor snore? <laughs> when you're sleeping and making sound through your nose, yeah? yeah? Let's go to the SN guys now. Socialistic snow, yes. Sneaker, snail, very good. Sneaker. Mm -hmm. What else? Snap short. Snap, yes. Snacks. Snow. Hello, Femi. Welcome. Sh snake, yes. Snowball. Snappy, right. Flourish sn snoozed, yes. We're, we're doing SN, guys. So, snippet, yeah. Snitch. Sn snobism do you know what is snob two two what does snob mean guys snob oh i'm a bit tired though okay we call snob to those people who respect and likes only people who are high social class uh, who has got sophisticated, you know, respect in the society. Like, he's a terrible snob. If you haven't to the right school, he probably won't even speak to you. For example, sneaky, sneaky, yeah, sneezing. Ignore 
Yes, snob is that kind of mentality or attitude person who only respects to the higher people, respectful people, famous people, high class people. Snobbery, yes, yeah, snob is an adjective. Okay, sorry, noun, my apology. Then snobbist is the adjective. Snobber is noun too, snobbish. Snobbish is the adjective, okay? Uh, let s snob, snobber, snobbish. Pardon? S Snapchat, you know, when you're talking. Snapshot is when you're taking photos. Okay, well done, everyone. Let's go to the letter SM. First, small. Smell. Oh, smelly. He's a smelly guy. Smile. Mm -hmm. Then smash, smooth. Okay, let me see. Now come to this SM guys. Snipe, smooth, smoke, smile, smart, smash. Yay, Subaki. Welcome, smell, smooth, smile. Smoke, smoke in the water, fire on the sky. You know this song called uh, Smoke in the Water of Deep Purple. That is a very, it's a very famous rock song. It starts like this. Oh, amazing song. And anyway, we're paying our <laughs> focus on the pronunciation of the song. No. Smile, smooth, yes, smart. Smoke, smuggling, smuggler. Smoke. Smooth, smear, smitten. Very good word, Achana. Do you know what is smitten, guys? Smitten. Who can answer? <clears throat> Having suddenly started to like or love something, someone very rich. This story is about a man smitten with love for his wife's cousin. Wow, that's very good, you know, adjective. It has got another man strongly influenced by someone or feeling the effects of something. So when you have been influenced by something, we can call it smitten. Number one. Number two, when you have got some, you know, feelings that you like someone very much, we can call it smitten as well. Smelly, smokehouse, smell, yeah, huh? What is smack tight, Soraya? Smear cases, smoldering. Smartness, small word, smoke, very good. Uh, let me go to the next one, SP. Speak. Can you speak loudly, please? Speak, huh? SP spoke then speak spoke spoken yeah spell, <laughs> spell yeah spell. do you know spell bound spell bound okay spell bound is the word that is used in the magic when somebody says like abracadabra, now you become like a statue, tutu. Tutu has been made spellbound like a statue, guys. Yes, speed, proud, spell, sport, sparrow, spy, spoon. Very good, Subaki. Spoil, speed, space, sparkling. Sp spoiler, yeah. Speaking. 
Shay, we are talking about SP. Don't go beyond this pattern. Spain is the name of a country. Speed breaker, spell, spellbound, spear, spew, spy, Sp spiness? No, we don't use spiness, I think. Only spy is fine. Spider Man, yes. Yeah, speed. Spoon, space, sprinkle, mm -hmm. specialization, spatial, yeah. Spine, Spanish. What is spiness, Aisha? You have written it twice. How about spicy? Yes, obviously. No, spiness is not a word. Spa, you can use SPA. You know the spa? Space. You don't know the spa? It's like a beauticians. Women go to the spa to make themselves, and men also go there. Beautiful, like all the pedicure, manicure, swimming, body tanning. They do it from a spa. Spent. Uh, Aisha, it will be better if you keep writing in English, please, okay? Rather than Bengali. Spectacular, spinal cord, spiritless. Very good. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> Mah Mahabudal said Indian accent is so amazing to hear. Uh, do you think that my accent is Indian accent, guys? I don't have any accent. Um, we are pronouncing the words, not we are having any accent here, unfortunately. Sponginess. SpongeBob. Spotless. Spotin. Spontaneous, it should be a yeah, spontaneous spelling. Springboard, that's great. What is springboard? It's a game, kind of game board. Spider Man. <laughs> okay, springboard is a board that can ban helping people to jump higher. Oh, it's a hunter diving swimming pool when doing gymnastics. I see it has got quite a few meanings. Speed, yes. Speed is a very famous movie of Kenny Rips. Next one, SQ. We are nearly there. Then after that, we've got some tongue twisted and some sounds. Yeah? Squeeze, squeeze, square. SpongeBob Square Band, you know, it's a fair cartoon. Square. Do you know Square Meal? Have you heard this expression? Squeeze Square, Square Meal. Oh, NT is here. Squeet. Squirrel. Square. Hi, NT. I really like. Are you interested to join? Squash. Walaikum salam. Squad. Squeed. Chan has been renamed now Tutu. Desmond Tutu is a very famous leader. Do you know? Desmond Tutu. Have you heard of it? Squirrel. Yes, yeah, squirrel is a very difficult word to pronounce. Welcome. Squirrel. Squirrel. Is it a kind of animal? You don't know the squirrel? Yeah. Squeeze. 
school sq no that's incorrect auntie what is the word alaikum salam um fantastic how about you Welcome, Auntie. I have a, I have a question. I have a question for you, Desmond Tutu. Have you ever heard this name, Desmond Tutu? Oh, he was a very famous leader from South Africa. Have a look to the Tutu and both of you, Desmond Tutu. Flourish says she doesn't want to join now. Okay, uh, we are practicing S sound and we are trying to make some words with SQ. Yes, yeah, squeak, squeakers. That's great. You know squeakers? That makes the squeaking sound like kitsch kitsch sound, like kitsch kitsch, kitsch like birds. Uh oh, this one squeakers, yes. Squeaked, that's right. Okay, let's move on. I say you do this word, yeah? This person. Tutu, find out, yeah? Desmond Tutu. Is the name of the person Desmond Tutu? Tutu is this our. Tutu. So Desmond Tutu is very famous name of history, African history. Okay, next word, ST. We're nearly there. Yeah. <clears throat> Start, stop, stock, start, stair, step, student, standard, state. Well done. So book is tools, straight, story, stem, still. Stand. Go on. Stress. Yes. Stress management. Step. He's my stepbrother. What does it mean? Stop. Stop. So if if I say he's my stepbrother, what does it mean? Yeah, the what? It can be, that's right. State, yes, still. Strive, stop, strain, stunt, stabilize, stun, stunning express. I have got a stunning experience. I'm stunned. To listen to the accent of these people, amazing stocks, yes, flourish, steady, right? Archana says steps. There is a famous British band called Steps as well. Have you ever heard it? Stingy, yeah, stinky. Story, yes, yeah, still strong, straight, straightforward. Stair food, yes. Steward, stitch. A stitch in time saves nine. Have you ever heard of it? Saves nine. It's a <laughs> it's a proverb. Staircase, steel, staginess, strength. What? This is a proverb we are talking about. 
we are not talking about any name stable star stimulus stoned startling statesman string staff wow stone stuff hello donald trump welcome oh what happened come back again auntie stipend stab steamboat stand strike strict store stickers strontium mm, that's the name of a chemical of a medication as well Stelu stellula stint stoop strong stitches donald trump says do you need a nuclear bomb 20 percent discounts no i don't need any bomb thank you very much for the offer you can ask modi he might buy it from you stapla streedy steve study standard stompa stipulate wow thousands of words stammering problem study okay let's go next yeah next word su suicide you are bringing all the all these negative words don't bring <laughs> summer su anti Hmm? Sultry, you know, sultry, sunny, sun, sultry. Does anyone know what is the meaning of sultry? Adjective, it's too hot. When the weather is too hot, and slightly wet we call it. it's a sultry weather in the uk welcome everyone honestly it's a sultry weather today i'm feeling hot as you guys sunday support sue suck suggest suit sufficient surgery subject sudden surrender well done to subaki archana welcome super hmm? submit SU, SU guys, what with SU? Sunny, mm -hmm. suitable, support, suits, subcontractor, sulfa, soup, supermarket, superb, yes, suspend. Yeah, your account may be suspended if you don't follow the hello code of conduct. So be careful, guys. Eh? Excuse me. Summary, yes. Success, successful, succeed. Now I've got a question here. Tell me. Succeed. How do you spell the succeed? So is it a noun or verb? Yeah, that's why I've given this word. I've written this word. Tell us succeed. Is it a noun or pronoun on a verb or adjective? Very often I have seen our learners are confused. Do you know successful? Sustain, yes, successive. Superstasis, superstructures, survives, sure. Pradeep, welcome, I'm fine. Succeed, supernatural. Supernutritious, submitted, sublime, summit. Subbing, such subjects. Subtle, subtitle. Sullivan, suggested. Subterranean, wow, supernova, well, good word. Shushi, show succeed is verb. What do you think, Auntie? Is succeed a verb? Do not look at the grammar book, guys. Okay. Yeah. Surreal, sorry, succeed is verb. Verb. Yeah. 
Make sentence, please, with all of this word. Um, and you make a sentence with succeed. Sucrose. All right, that's great. Uh, can you please give me one quick second? I'll be back. Yeah, carry on talking. Anti and tutu. So I come back, suckle, such, survival, and sulfur, surveys, sure. Okay, um, Tutu, make a sentence with success. What? Okay, once again, Anti has explained succeed is a verb. Success is a noun, successful is an adjective. Archan has written three sentences. If you try hard, you will succeed in your career. Success is the result of your hard work. He is a successful businessman. Very good. Now, your turn, Tutu. Make one sentence each. And before that, I'll ask Andy to make one sentence each of this word. Andy? Make one sentence using these three words. Just make a sentence, please. Okay, very good example. Next one. Very good. Now, two, two. If you have made a lot of money already, you're already a successful person. Um, how could I say that? I'm a successful person because I have made a lot of money. Or I have made a lot of money, so I'm a successful person. Start with verb. We'll come to the adjective later. Yeah. Again, you're making mess. Okay. You need to understand first what is noun and what is verb.
succeed action you're moving something you're going something you're trying to do something that is the place we call verb okay we are talking about succeed why are you bringing success now one more time listen to me carefully succeed is a verb and the what does verb mean verb means an action that is happening or going to happen or you know okay or you will do something on this like i have to succeed in life One moment. Is it wait? No. Okay. Why did you give it to the washing machine? You use one, then give it to the washing machine. Because it's hard. It's seven seventeen now. What you need to be hurry up. You've got only 10 minutes to get ready. So one second, two, two. Hang on a second, Auntie. Succeed verb. What do you understand by verb? Yes. Verb means an action that is happening or will happen. Or you have to do something. Succeed. where it is the verb i can succeed no try to understand once again what do you understand by verb so where is the action here tell me in this sentence if you would like to speak english you need to succeed in learning pronunciation you need to before verb we use to Yes, I want to succeed in life. I want to succeed in English. I want to succeed in business. Yes, that's right. That's correct now. Once everybody is a third person singular number. Yes. Then right. The greatest way to find out an adjective is that before adjective. There is always a verb. Adjective doesn't go itself. Generally, before verb, there is a to or another verb. We call them helping verb. Okay. So, successful is an adjective. I would like to be successful. Look, B is a verb here. Like anti is successful, earning a lot of money. Okay, I'll succeed one day. Yes, so okay, success is a noun, we'll achieve success in life. Hello, Maju, alaikum salam. If you want to be successful, you'll be hard working. The success is very important for everyone. I succeeded in my exam and get, I got high school not getting high school is it clear now to two we got stuck of the success okay a cat is crying is it cat
Is the cat is a neighbor cat? Cat. Okay. Now, as a W, the last one. We have to move quickly, guys. We don't have much time. Zoya Khan. Yes, you can hop on. Send me the hop on request. And let me see what it says. Let me know what it says. Send me a hop on request and let me know what it says. Hi, Mahruma Akhtar. Welcome. Archana said swing. Subaki said sweet swords. Soul and sweet swipe. Sweater, swift, swing, swallow, swim. You are not able to send. Yeah, what does it say? You need to let me know. Sorry, go on, Auntie. Sweet. Sweet has another meaning. It's kind. Like, hmm, Tutu is a sweet guy. And Auntie has sweet quality. It means kind. Sword. Sweat. Look, the difference between sweet and sweat. Eh? Remember, it's a bit difficult. Sweet. Sweet. But sweat. Okay. And sweater. Is it sweater? Correct spelling? Swing, yes, sweater. Great. Any other word? Switch. Mm -hmm. Great. So let's move on quickly. Now, the last part that is so easy peasy. You know, sun. Hmm? Tutu, are you still there? But you're not talking. Okay, okay uh, Auntie, go on quickly. Mm -hmm. Skeleton. Then? You can't see it? Astronaut, a astronaut, not then octopus. Then S sounds like Z, like mm -hmm. poison. Poison. Then that sounds like in between Z and Z measure. Okay, then. Remember, this is very common wrong pronunciation. We everyone says Asia. No, it's Asia. Asia. It sounds like this, yeah? Hey, Asia. All right. Asia. Similarly, visa. Visa, Asia. From today, don't say Asia anymore. Asia, visa. ASS want want to join. Okay. Can you please explain uh, to to how someone can join here?
right this word to two casualty casualty means when there is an accident people get injured we call them oh how many casualties are there casualty okay okay as sounds like a sha sas sugar anti first uh, one moment are you going with the mummy no okay you better make hurry now eight seven twenty seven Have you taken everything? Don't take the empty bottle. It's not empty. Take it on your bag, that water bottle. Hey, I'm back. Okay, let's move on quickly. Uh, sugar. Yes, tutu. Okay, remember the basic difference between the American IP and British IP is that we don't pronounce R in most of the cases. That's why it's called, British English is called non rhotic Sugar, sister, mother, father brother now americans will definitely pronounce the r's like sugar sister sister mother father brother okay to two and everyone then sri lanka sri lanka is a country okay there is some tongue twister that is the amazing part before that some t and s sensor yeah. Then instrument. Constable. Very good. Now there are quite a few tongue twisters. Go one by one. Anti first. Speak a bit loudly, please. Read it two times at least. Very good. Next one. I I slept the sleep. No. Sleep. Sleep. I sleep. I sleep the sheep. The sheep. I sleep. And on the sleeped sheep, I sleep. One more time. I sleep the sheep. The sheep. I sleep. Slitted, slitted again, slitted. Mm -hmm. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted, the slitted, slitted sheet I slit. Okay, number three. Selfish, shellfish. Fish? No, selfish is not a fish, but shellfish is a fish. No, that's why it is a tongue twister. Listen to me carefully. Selfish, shellfish. Selfish, shellfish. Very good. One more time. She 
Not not she shall. She sells. She sells. She sells. Okay. Hang on a moment. Let me let me help you. She sells seashells by the seashore of Sicily. She sells seashells by the seashore of the Sicily. Sicily is a town of Italy. Okay. Uh, two two. Yes. Hi, Duo. Welcome, Noor. Welcome. Socks. If there is S at the end of the word, you must pronounce it correctly, guys. D. You must pronounce the D correctly. Sam's, not Sam. Sam's shop stocks short spotted socks. Once again, Sam's shop stocks short spotted socks. Hello, Sam's. Do you shop stock spotted spotted socks? No, I don't. I'm just making a, a you know <laughs> conversation. Yes, please. Not shock, sock. Sock, not shock. Socks. One more time. Mm -hmm. Better than before. One more time. Remember, there is S in few places. You must pronounce it correctly. Sam's shop stocks short spotted socks. Socks, plural. So, do you know the meaning of sock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, go to the next one, please. Beg your pardon? Go to the next one. You need to be faster. That is the main importance of tongue twister. Okay, accuracy and clarity is important. Go slowly then. I slid the sheet, the sheet I slid, and on the slitted sheet I see it. Very good. Make a rhythm when you're talking for everything. If you make a good rhythm, it will be much helpful rather than plain speaking. Auntie and even all of you. Remember, English language is like a rhythmic language. You know, it gives you like, oh, flow, going up and down. I slid the sheet, the seat I slid, and on the slitted sheet, I slid. Okay. All right, uh, that one more. There are two questions. Two tones. So what is a tongue twister? Tongue twisters are those words which are made to make easy pronunciation and also the differentiation of the similar sounds okay and i said sorry i want to ask a question in which accent people pronounce asia you said that but i heard it many accent they use on the sh okay we're talking about the british accent obviously because i'm from england and my focus is on the british accent so people might choose to pronounce it different way if they're probations they're free to do that Hello, Toraj, welcome. Sanskriti, Namaskar. 
Othman, welcome, Dua, Anas, let me see, many people have joined in the meantime, thank you very much guys for joining, Tutan says, yeah, from Bangladesh, welcome, welcome all the lovely people from the different parts of the world, our local time is 7.36 a.m. Wednesday morning, it's very bright, hot sunshine in the UK, and I'm conducting the lesson from my home, we'll continue 15 minutes, then I have to start for my work, okay guys, so we'll be having another live stream on the way to work, possibly. Gotcha. Got gotcha. Yeah, that's just hi Nazli, welcome. Thank you very much. Hajira, welcome. So number three. So what is selfish? That is another question. It's so once yeah, what does selfish mean? It's not a fish, it's related to someone else. I'm not a selfish person. No. No, not stubborn. No. Selfish is a person who only thinks about the himself or herself. Stubborn is when the person does not want to change the decision or thought, even though some people can try to influence them. Stubborn. Remember, if there are two similar kind of consonant, we don't pronounce it. We don't say Muhammad. In English, we said Muhammad. We don't say Abdullah, we say Abdullah. We don't say illegal, we say illegal. We don't say stubborn, we say stubborn. Stubborn, yeah? Greedy, you can say kind of stubborn person, maybe greedy. Okay, selfish, shellfish. Pronounce it three times. Yes, very good. Next one, number four is a bit difficult though. <laughs> no, she sells. She sells by the seizure of the Sicilies. 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 One more time. All right, so go to the next one, please. Quickly, number five. We don't have much time. Let's see how many can we do now. Uh, would you like to try, um, Auntie? Five. five. Mm -hmm. You can't see it? Turn on your turn off your camera and turn off. I don't see you on my you know hop on screen. I can see you. No, 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 you are there. You are there already. Asia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, all right, okay. Um, number five. Number five, yeah. She sells, she, she sells, she sells on a seashore. She sells, she sells on a seashore, I'm sure. Remember, there are S. She sells. She sells on the seashore. The shells she sells are she sells, I'm sure. She sells, she, sells, she sells, she sells on a on a seashore. 
the cell the cell C cells are C cell C C cell I'm sure. Okay, first correct these two sounds. C shells. <clears throat> Excuse me. C shells. Not she, C, sa, C shells. Yeah, now you're mix, mixing up now. C shells. Not C, C. <laughs> Not she shells. <laughs> okay, you have to practice at home. That's your homework, yeah? Go to the number six, please. Sally is a there is a is a Sally is a sheet slitter and she slits sheets. Sally is a sheet slitter. Hmm? Sheet. Mm -hmm. Number seven is better than before. Hi, Sid. Surely. Surely. The shell, the shell, the shell, the shell are surely. 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 Okay. Look. Surely. Now, American IPS says surely, but British IPS says surely. Surely. Okay. And R is silent. Remember that. The basic difference between the British IP and American IP are is silent in most of the cases in British IP. Surely, that is British. Surely, American. Sid, I'm fantastic. Thank you very much. How are you? Okay. One more time. Well, we lost uh, two to. We've got six more minutes to finish this lesson, guys. Number seven, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. A sure. Okay, let me read it. The shells she sells are surely seashells. Okay, if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells sea seashore shells. Now, uh, take a screenshot of this, yeah, both of you. Tutu, I don't know how is the tutu's uh, pronunciation. Practice it at home because this is really be difficult pronunciation. Like it's sha and sa and sa. Sh these two sounds are sometimes you know con conflicting and we can you know interchange it unmindly when you're not paying attention to the word tutu would you like to try please five six seven all together one by one each twice Mm -hmm. 
Okay, take a screenshot of both of you and practice it at home. Okay, number five. She sells she sells on a seashore. The shells she sells out she sells, I'm sure. Number six, Sally is a shit slater. She slates shits. Number seven, the shells she sells are surely she sells. If she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, so that's all about today's lesson, guys. I'm sure that we have learned a few things. Remember, phonetics, pronunciation is the hardest part of English language, which is why very often we can't pronounce the word correctly, which is why we can achieve the correct sound because of not practicing. It's a lot of muscle exercise, voiced, unvoiced things, short sound, longer sound, connected speech, you know. We call sometimes articulation as well as we call it, you know, uh, derivation and also uh, there are some other words I forget at the moment because I'm not a phonetics teacher, as you know, but we try to bring basic tips so that we can learn something from here. Uh, we have to remember everyone, you know, English language is a matter of practice. If you practice a lot, you can overcome anything. So be positive all of your, always of your thoughts be confident and don't worry about the mistakes if you learn from the mistakes that is the amazing part and we have to remember mistakes are our learning tools as long as you learn and you promise that oh i've learned it from my mistakes and i can't do it anymore is that clear to to and nt no problem at all i'll suggest if you have time you can re-watch it or if you have taken the screenshot practice those there are a few more tongue twister of letter S. We will practice it some other lessons, some other classes. Flourish, thank you very much. And all the people who are watching, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much for your comments. Though it is not possible always to focus on the comments, but I have tried to read most of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is really an amazing matter when people come and participate and ask questions. All right. Thank you very much. I will see you after a baby. You, you take care. Bye.